Hello, and welcome to OSR Systems' presentation of pump stations and irrigation systems. Pump stations and irrigation systems have sediment problems due to their high volume of water intake, bringing in foreign sediments and other material. One of OSR Systems' unique features is that it can remove these sediments from some of the most confined and difficult areas, quickly and efficiently, without causing interruptions with normal operations. Whether it is some of the larger seven pump stations such as UL Laboratories, our smaller three and single pump irrigation stations. Our system is versatile enough to penetrate these areas and tackle the toughest projects. First, the sediments are removed from the main cistern housing the pumps. Afterwards, the pump screens are cleaned. Then, efforts are taken to remove other sediments from the intake pipe feeding water into the cistern. Regardless of the size of these areas or how small the pipes may be or how tight the fit may be, it is important to remove all the sediments from these areas as well. After the main pump station is cleaned and other sediments are being removed from the intake pipe, all secondary cisterns have to be checked and cleared for materials also, or they will quickly migrate back into the main cistern. In most cases, the screens are removed from the outer intake pipe in the reservoir. It is important to rod and back flush the entire intake pipe and screen. Last, sediments are removed from a large area around the intake to ensure they will not be interfering with the system anytime soon. Until all these thick sediments are removed entirely, your pumps are going to be working overtime, causing wasted energy and unnecessary wear on your pumps and motors. You most certainly want to try and avoid this situation. When these brand new pumps were installed and turned on, the flow meter went to zero and the thermal couple was overloaded shutting the pumps down. This is a very common problem for pump stations and irrigation systems. Installing new pumps without removing the sediments first from the system. We were called in immediately only to find the cistern and intake pipes were packed with sediments. Once we removed the materials from this situation and station, the pumps ran normally with no other problems or complications. When all the sediments are removed from the system, you'll be assured your system will be up and running for years to come. Here's what to look for in your pump station. But first, it is important to know the types of sediments being drawn into the cistern. There are a mix of coarse and fine organic soil type materials that pack together and form what is known as cake mass. This cake mass is slowly silting in the system and more importantly will actually act as a filter giving you an illusion that your system is fine because it is pumping clear and clean water which may not be the case at all. First. A sure sign of trouble is excessive drawdown of water in the cistern as the pumps are running, or a large drop in the flow meter. Next, check your energy costs to see if your pumps are consuming more electricity or tripping breakers and thermocouplers. Then, check the clarity of water for darker discoloration as soon as the pumps are turned on at the sprinkler heads or at a bypass, not after they have been running for a while. And of course, if you find debris in your sprinkler heads, that's an obvious sign. Also, if your cistern is over 20 years old, it should be inspected. Or, if your intake has been placed in a stream or area of flowing water, you may want to have an inspection more often. Most causes of sediment buildup in cisterns are from older reservoir ponds that have filled in with silt over time, and the silt is, or very close to covering the intake pipe. In other cases, we found the placement of intake pipe is just too close to the bottom of the reservoir, or just simply put in the wrong place. This is especially true in streams and coves of streams, where the flow of the water and natural eddy effect is depositing sediments over or very close to the intake pipe. We at OSR Systems understand fluid dynamics and can help in many of these situations. We hope this presentation was helpful in understanding some of the problems you may be encountering with your pump station in the future.